What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 17 of our My League expansion between the Tempo and the Jacks. We're moving right along. We're in the offseason of 2020. Jacks, we know, didn't make the playoff. <laughs> I was going to mention that. <laughs> Tempo got bounced in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Indiana Pacers, who ended up winning the NBA championship over the San Antonio Spurs. We had some upsets go on in the playoffs. So let's go ahead and now get into the offseason player retirements. Let's check out and see who is retiring. Or not retiring. You, or not retiring. Because we are going to be, what's that? Overriding? Let's override Tony Parker because I'm thinking about signing him. I wanted to sign him two years ago. Let's do it. As for everybody else, I think we're good. J.R. Smith, we don't need any playoff blunders with J.R. Smith at the, maybe, the lineup. Maybe Dwayne Wade. I think we can milk one more year out of Wade. No, let's let him go. We need to let him, let him ride off into that sunset. We need to just let him go. Powell, Gasol. Yeah, you know, hey, maybe Nick Young. Nope. Reunited with the tempo? Nope. Nope. No, we're moving on. Okay. Hmm. We have league expansion proposition. If you guys saw the thumbnail, which I hope you would have, you will know that we are considering putting in NBA franchises in the cities of Cincinnati. Big surprise there. Big surprise. And Vancouver. The Vancouver Vortex and the Cincinnati Olympians. Uh-oh. Okay. We currently have 24 no, 8 yes, but thankfully 2K lets you do whatever you feel like. <laughs> so guess what, guys? We're overturning the vote. Override. You are overridden. Let's approve this. So there are the logos for you guys. The Vancouver Vortex coming into the Western Conference Northwest. Makes and sense. And Cincinnati Olympians going into the Eastern Conference Central Division. You know, I know some people out there are going to be like, hey, what about the Seattle Sonics? And it's like, kind of like, well, we're, we're doing like our teams. Yep. And we can't put a team in Seattle that's not called the Sonics or the Supersonics. So we're going to go Vancouver. Sorry to anybody in Seattle. Sorry, I'm a Sonics fan. I've always had them. Their day will come. Their day will come. But yeah, Cincinnati going to the Central. Central's a pretty tough division these days with Cleveland and Indiana and Milwaukee. That's very, very difficult. Yeah, your, the, your division's still a cakewalk? Still a cakewalk. I think we should probably make the playoffs yet again. Pistons took the Pacers to that Eastern Conference semifinal, and then the Pacers ended up winning the whole dang thing. So, yeah, yeah it's very, very tough division. And then we have the Pacific here. I believe the Kings were in the Northwest last year, if my memory serves. But, yeah, we're going to be in that six-team league all the California teams and uh, yeah we're still sharing this sharing space with Golden State so that's fun you know what time it is it's the lottery odds time and take a look here up at the board the Hornets have a 14% chance sharing that with the heat for the number one and the number two pick yeah now a ton of drama for our teams the Jacks and the Tempo and as well as the Olympians and the Vortex I believe that those teams can't get the first pick. I don't know if that's a real NBA rule or, but they never do. So right. They're probably gonna pick in the, you know, you know, probably the top it's five. Probably because they're getting so many established NBA players that are just cast offs now. I, I don't that... know if there's a rule or, or what. But so we'll skip the lottery and see where we're at. If the Pelicans got it, the Jacks can. Let's do it. Okay. We're so looking the at the 15. Like, yeah. Wow, Phoenix gets the number one pick. Okay, so man, they should be stacked if they're gonna keep Booker. Then they'll have Booker, Zion, and Aiton. Yeah, it's pretty good. So there'll be another team you gotta watch out for in the West eventually so at some point. But we see the Olympians in the Vortex got number four, number five, right behind the Suns, Hornets, and Hawks. And then taking a look at where Nashville would have gone, we would have had the 22nd pick, but we did give that away. Yeah, so I guess it was worth it to get Morant at it was. that stage. It was. Because he turned out to be a great point guard for you. So taking a look here real quick, the Nashville Tempo don't have a head coach currently. Sam Cassell is getting about five offers, and I'm actually heavily considering Nick Nurse as coach of the Toronto Raptors. But, you know, looking at a couple other guys down here, we have Nate McMillan, who ended up beating us from the Indiana Pacers. 
grit and grind system. I'm not too keen on that, but you know, we do like that balanced attack that we could have. Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is here, but he's that grit and grind. Hey, Luke Walton. Uh, no. no, no. Offense, yeah, cool, but defense, that's Garbo. Scott Brooks sitting there too. Um, and then we look at Sam Cassell. This is my type of coach, man. B, B minus, B minus. Why don't you just go after? I mean, I don't I, see I do. why he would leave the tempo. I don't know. I mean, he helped build it. Right. So, you know, we, we have to uh, we have to consider this. I mean, we have an available budget of seven sevens across the board, and I just want to see just real quick what we would be looking at if we decide to go after Nurse. It's pretty much the same thing. The interest, at least, four point one three million for Nurse, and then when we look again at Cassell, yeah, 2.9, I guess he's a little bit cheaper. Come and, on, man, don't leave home. Yeah, don't leave home, baby, come on. So let's pay him this 3.5. I think he's earned it. All right, guys, so we did get Sam Cassell back with us. Good things there. Welcome back, Sam. All right, draft combine time, and honestly, I haven't really done a whole lot of research with this. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, it's a new a new class. A lot of these guys aren't even in college basketball right now. Who are uh, they're coming out of high school? So, yeah, we don't we don't have a ton of info on these guys, but I know who Lamelo Ball is. How about that, Ty Jerome's in here. If anything, I'm probably looking at a center for Nashville just to kind of back up either Jang or Biombo. Honestly, that's who I'm looking at. Um, doesn't have to be Crosby Roundtree or Cosby Roundtree, but you know it could be any one of these guys. Emmett Williams has already been drafted. That he has. We'll have to take yeah, him so we'll have to take him out. Um, but all things considered, that's kind of where I'm looking. You want to talk about where the Jacks are looking for in their first round? <sighs> Actually, uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to address it in the second round. You know, yeah, you you don't have first round pick, but. Um, Man, I'm looking at guys like, uh, the problem is I don't know who's going to be the best player in That here. might actually help you out. Yeah. Maybe. Smart out of LSU. I'll probably just be really safe and go with the big board rank. Maybe James would be there. I'm not sure. Peyton Pritchard. No. I think Markel Definitely Johnson not. was drafted in this. I'm not sure. We'll have to go back and check. Yep. Hmm. There's not a whole lot of talent here uh, that kind of speaks. Yeah, because I was thinking point guard maybe. I mean, definitely, um, you know, like NBA three-pointer is would be a big one. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to be looking at guys who can shoot the three, guys that can back up McDonough. I've got enough defensive specialists right now. I need, and I'm going to be looking at free agency, but I need a distributing point guard, an athletic small forward, three-point shooting threat off the bench. It's really where I'm leaning. So you we're need, either going to address it through the draft or through free agency. You need some athleticism and electricity. Yes. This might be my guy if he's there. I don't know. Oh, that's precious. Yeah. I guess he's going to Memphis, apparently. So, that would be a good fit. I mean, I think he, he's a pretty highly rated prospect. Blockhead? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you looking that up? He's not even real. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god. Can you take a picture of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta draft this dude. <laughs> dude, he, there's nobody. He's not even real. <laughs> Hold on. So, uh, in research, take a look at this guy. No. Blockhead is not real. He's not real. We didn't make him, and holy cow. Okay, he is, how tall is he? How tall is he? He's seven feet? Seven feet. Clark Atlanta University. Well, you're drafting him. I have to. He's got 19 badges, potentially. Wow. Athletic center? You gotta scout him. He, he could fit, man. He might, he might work. He might work. 
Let's call him Blockhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The team workouts for the pre-draft workout results. Looking at a couple guys here for the tempo. Desmond Bain, small forward. We need to address backup small forward at some point. I know we got guys with you know, flex position, position eligibility, but there are guys here that I want to look at, mostly center and power forward, just to kind of block. Yeah, we even got Blockhead up there, and he actually didn't do too bad. Not too bad. Can hit the moving shot, standing footer, 15 out of 25. Did throw in some shooting guards, and I don't think we added a single point guard to this mix, but you are just looking for backups. You always want to be looking for the next best thing. Can never have enough guys that can shoot the basketball. And this guy here, Leandro Balmaro, with the effect that Left House has had on this team, I trust the international scouting with our with our scout. And Both just look these at guys this. look pretty good yeah. from what I read. I haven't watched them play, but I hear that they're apparently decent NBA prospects. Deadly, accurate jump shooter, wide open looks for three are money. So basically, we should rarely ever miss with Leandro Balmaro. But there are some good players here that I'm looking at. Even this guy, Trace blockhead. Jackson Davis. Definitely blockhead. There was, <laughs> there was a guy, there was a guy from, um, let's see, where is he? He was from, did I even add him on here? This guy from more. Iowa. This guy from Iowa. That was, James uh, Wiseman, no? You're not gonna get Wiseman. Uh, Cook? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, right, right. So he was 100% scouted, so. Yeah, but I'm looking at Cook if he's available. But yeah, center is probably our, our main add. But in the later rounds, I'm thinking about adding another shooter that can help this club. Let's go ahead and talk about the Jacks. All right, I'm not sure if I'll be in a position to draft this dude, Precious Achua, out of Memphis. Uh, LaMelo Ball is a possibility. I'm not going to rule it out. Age 18. Um... I mean, he could he could help. I mean, we're thinking about our point guard position long term, and we're we're likely moving on from Whitehead. We're moving on from Della Vadova. A lot of changes coming out in, in Jimmer, Las Vegas. Yeah, Jimmer, we're gonna hang on to him. But my main target in free agency will be Tony Parker, if I can get him, and then he would be a great mentor for a guy like Lamelo Ball. Mm, possibly. I don't know. If you got to calm him down a little bit. Maybe. Uh, you know, I don't know if we want to invite the Ball family into our fraternity, but, you know. Team Malcolm, chemistry's at a 92% right yeah, now. Malcolm Casalone out of France is a possibility. Ceiling PJ Tucker. Tucker is a good defender, so I wonder why C minus defense. Professional basketball. I mean, it's decent, though. It's decent yeah. for a rookie right now. It's decent. Just really matters on the potential. Io Dasunmu out of Illinois. They're saying the ceiling is Jose Calderon. Yeah, okay, Killian Calder Hayes. Calderon had France. some pretty good years. Ceiling is Gary Payton. Dang. It's pretty good. But he's the number one on the board. Yeah. So a lot of point guards on here. Nico Mannion. I added Isaac Okoro. From Auburn, I think he's signing with Auburn. Um, Could be a superstar someday. Sean Marion was yeah, he carved out a really nice career in the NBA, and then I added this dude from Finland, trying to tap into my own leftos magic. But I might copy off of your homework by looking at the mm -hmm. the Bosnian dude and then Balmaro maybe. But I'm looking at at Vil Vili Vil Tavainen. 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 Maybe. From Finland. All right, now comes the good stuff. We're going to be doing this thing live. We're going to select players that we want to keep and protect from the expansion draft. Yeah. Who are we? Who do we not want the <sighs> Olympians well, and the Vortex to have? Definitely keeping Capella, Bamba, Bogdanovich, Aminu, Reddish. Jante Porter is a keep right now. They have me keeping Korkmaz. Tyler Lydon at age 24. I'm definitely going to keep Jonte Porter. At a 76, yeah, you should definitely do that. Yep, he's only going to get better. Yeah. Sign. Yeah, it says won't. Restricted he, free agent, though. But yeah. he's in the G League right now. That's why he's, he probably hates my guts. He's probably pissed. Yeah. But this will actually open you up. We'll fix that. <laughs> Wish you could override those things. Patrick Patterson. Yeah, we're going to hang on to you. 
Felicio, I don't want to pay you that money. And then Tyler Lydon. It's going to be tough to let Tyler Lydon go. He's A from three-point range. Um, I guess, you know, I'll keep Jonte Porter because he's probably got a brighter future, maybe. And that's going to do it for Las Vegas. All right, taking a look at Jaron Jackson. He's not going anywhere. RJ, Vooch, the whole cast and crew are not going anywhere. I, I want to keep Sundarius Thornwell. It's, it's good for you. It's really tough because we look at him here. I mean, he's already got two more years left with us, right? He's 25. Alexander Walker's contract expired, so we'll have to re-sign him. We do have a team option that we will exercise. Um, but Patty Mills, I, I don't know. This is tough because basically I, I don't want to bring back Biombo. I don't. Yeah. Jang is a problem. Jang is a problem because he's a lot of freaking money. A lot of money. We could probably get a little bit better. I mean, Vucevic is the starter, and we already we can't pay a guy $17 million to be a backup power forward and a backup yeah. center. I mean, he, he is valuable, but he's not worth that type of money. So we're going to let these two guys go. We'll address center, the backup center position, a little bit later on, and we're going to go ahead and keep Mills and Thornwell. Once the draft hits and we address the big men, and if we want to bring in another shooter, we can, and then we'll reassess where Mills, Thornwell, Burke, all these guys are at as far as the backups are concerned. Here we go. It's going to be the expansion draft, guys. Let's see who the Olympians and the Vortex are going to be taking. Right, let's do it. All right, Darius Baisley. Goga, Batadze, Tyler Zeller going to the Vortex, John Henson Olympians, Daniel Tice Olympians. So there's some Milwaukee Bucks. A lot of centers. Off the board Derek here. Carroll to the Vortex, Ming Daugas going to the Olympians. Montrezl Harrell, he's yeah, going to go back, back to to an expansion team here. LeGerald Vick out of Kansas. Kansas. Norman Powell to the Olympians, Grayson Allen and Rodney Hood. Dang, Vortex are pretty good here. They're looking all right. Olympians are, I don't know what they're doing. Moritz Wagner to the Vortex. Jevin Carter, hey. he, he killed us in that. You're going from the champions to the not champions. Biombo to the Vortex. Okay. So nobody's picking up Jang. Not yet. That means he's going to stay with us. Yeah, Leiden goes to the Vortex. And there that will do it. There you go. So Jang, we're stuck with him. I guess so. I'm stuck with Felicio. It's NBA draft time. I do not have a first round pick, but you do, sir. So I'm anxious to see where these players go and who you're going to pick. All right, the very first pick, Phoenix Suns. Take Cole Anthony from Duke. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I think there is, I mean, obviously he's a very good player, but I think the other there is another option there, I think. That guy, Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes to the Hornets. The Hornets need some help. The whole NBA Southeast needs some help. <laughs> the Hawks are up next. Ah, oh, James Wiseman's going to go to Atlanta. It's a pretty good pick for them. They do need a big man down there. All right, the Olympians are next at number four. Let's see who they're going to take. I'm actually pretty excited. Wow. Scotty Lewis out of Scotty Florida. Lewis. So the jerseys, we're going to rework those. Work on those. Not official yet, just so you guys know. Just something as a placeholder. Vancouver, Vancouver Vortex. Vortex. Josh Green. Definitely not a finished product on the jersey. No, definitely no. not. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simplistic. Denny Avija. Good attempt. Uh, totally wrong. Isaac Okoro, the guy I was looking at, I didn't think he would fall to me, but be that as it may. Trendon Watford, a power forward out of Indiana. The magic Lamello. take Lamello Ball. Okay. Uh, I wanted them for, for drama purposes. DJ Jeffries out of Memphis goes to the Sixers. Theo Melodon on to Memphis. Vernon Carey out of Duke. Malcolm Cazalone. That's the guy that I was probably going to pick. Mm -hmm. Just Dang a little it. bit. Yeah, sucks. 
Tyrese there's, Maxey you're looking out of at, Kentucky. You're looking at him, too. I was thinking about it. But now we are going to be up. We are on the clock. Hey, let's check this out. A couple of highlights from Precious Achua, who is going to Memphis, as far as I know. Listed as a slashing wing. And I'm just looking at some highlights, and that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. The guy looks super athletic. It's what you guys need, man. You need some, like we were talking about, you need some of that lateral quickness. You need some yeah. athleticism. Man, so it's going to be a tough call between Achua and Nico Mannion. Who's actually, I think he's going to Arizona. Yeah. He actually I'll, I'll, is signed to Arizona. I had him on my board as well. ESPN ranks him as athletic playmaker who has the potential to be an elite ball in hand player on the next level. Manning's ability to get downhill and find teammates and either passing hand is special. Manning also excels as a scorer and with his ability to catch and shoot and create and score off the dribble. I liked what I saw and they're, they're just high school highlights, I realize, but this dude looks really good and I have a feeling that he's probably going to play himself up the board next year after one year at Memphis. So you're taking a risk as far as this is all I guess yeah but if the scouts are telling me Nico Mannion I just looked at a mock draft they had him 7th and they had Achua I think 11 or 13 15 uh, just depends what on what you, you do need. depends on what you need I mean I'm going to take Nico maybe. Nico's a reliable playmaker looks like he's got that ball handling so they did they did a good job when they made him in this class yeah. ball handling steals excel but uh, Precious Achua Mm, Here's the problem. Tough. I have Cam Reddish. I drafted Cam Reddish. It, so. it's, that's, yes, you did. To play that position. So yes, did. I, it's going to have to be Nico. So you're going point guard here, but are, is there any other point guard that's available? No, I don't want any other. He's my guy. Okay, Nico it is. Now, doesn't he look like a jack? He looks like he looks if he like was a able. Jack. Hey, Sean loves this pick. Solid contributor for the next decade at minimum. Damn. Onyeka Okongwu goes to USC or goes to Washington rather. Pelicans take Brian Antoine out of Villanova. Chandler Lawson from Kansas going to the Brooklyn Nets. Pistons take Josiah James, the point guard. Now he was a guy. guy thinking about. Yeah, there's a guy that we were thinking about too that was up there for you. He's got big shoulders, got good muscle mass. He can build on that. James Bonite. Emmett Williams, we have to edit that. Joe Smith. Ty, Ty Jerome, Jerome, point guard out of Virginia. Io Dasunmu was one guy I was thinking about, point guard from Illinois. Utah takes Jalen. Can you pronounce that? I don't know how I'm supposed to say that. Lechik? Le Lechek? Lechek? Lech. Lech, Lech, Lech. Probably. I, he seems. I thought I knew how to say French names. That one, that one stumps me. I did not realize he was six foot four. Oscar, no, that's a name I can't even say. Schwibby. <laughs> I have not even tried. Precious goes to Portland. There's my guy. Portland knows what they're doing. They're, that's a pretty smart organization out there. Maybe they're onto something. Phoenix Suns up again. Take Jaden McDaniels. Michael DeVoe out of Georgia Tech going to the Toronto Raptors. Spurs on the clock. Take Mitchell Ballack out of Creighton. And the Cleveland Cavs take P.J. Fuller out of Washington. Acock, Acock, going to the Houston Rockets out of Miami, Florida. Brandon Clark out of Gonzaga going to the Boston Celtics. Mm, John Williams. Yeah. And the team that got bounced out of the Western Conference Finals last season, Lindell Wigginton going to the Golden State Warriors. Last pick in the first round, Indiana Pacers take Javon Kinnerly from Villanova. So now we're going to go into the second round. Just going to be our picks. You're finally going to get a chance yeah. to show up here. All right, here in the second round, Cincinnati selects Khalil Whitney out of Kentucky. Vancouver Vortex, Aaron Wiggins from Maryland. It's a good pick for them. Okay. You guys are up. Ooh, we're back on the clock. I'm feeling international talent right here. Ooh. I'm looking at this dude here out of Bosnia, Tariq Biborovic. Biborovic, probably closer. Position rank is 13, so he's like right in the middle, but draft rank number 59. And we're about 
at that point in time. That would be an interesting selection. Um, but there, are there other players available that weren't taken that are actually ranked a little higher than 50? Yeah, maybe. Ken Johnson. I See, I don't need any big men, though. Henry McCalla. Kanye Kane? Not Kanye. Kanye. Kane? Yeah, that's what I first Henry thought. Henry McCalla. All right, so I'm thinking about stealing your guy. Oh, out. no. I'm going to I think I'm going to do it. That's a reach, man. Leandro. 96, 97. Listen to me trying to get him not to do it. Hmm. They did say in his scouting report that he's deadly from from mid-range. Open threes. I think it's... You don't miss. I can get behind this. You do have to wait you have to wait 1 year though. Right. So he's not going to be on the team until 2020. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let's do it. Ouch. That hurts. All right, tempo are up. What are we going to do? Early indication thought that we were probably going to be looking at a center, but I'm thinking more that we need to focus on small forward. I know that we have Cinderius Thornwell can play small forward. Alexander Walker can play small forward, so we can kind of flex out that position. And then we were even looking at center. It just depends on who's available. So just taking a look and seeing who we're going to be taking here. It looks like we're going to go ahead and take Desmond Bain. He's 100% scouted, so it seems like a safe bet. There was other players that we were looking at, mostly... We were looking at like Jalen Wilson, who's got some potential. He's going to be going to Michigan. And honestly, I, I didn't see a whole lot. I mean, then again, I, I'm not a basketball guru, so I don't yeah. know exactly everything that I'm looking at. But Desmond Bain seems like he's got a little bit more physicality to him. I like him. He's going to be our pick here. Yeah, 6'5", a little undersized, though. That's, that's okay. That's he's, got, he's got some weight to him. That's really what I'm looking at. To recap really quick, Scotty Lewis going to Cincinnati and Josh Green out of Australia going to the Vancouver Vortex at 5. Nico Mannion going to the Jacks at 15. Next picks here, you got Khalil Whitney to the Olympians, Aaron Wiggins to the Vortex. At 16, we got Leandro Balmaro, which is probably a knockoff leftos move that's not going to work to the same extent that it worked for you. And then you have the tempo here at 22, Desmond Bain out of TCU as your loan draft selection. Yes, yeah, so his scouting report said that he's going to be a pretty solid player if we give him time. Okay, well, here we are. This is the move I feel like I should have made at the beginning of this franchise and I wanted to do it but I was over signing people so Tony Parker did not come with us to Las Vegas but now that I forced him out of retirement I'm definitely gonna go for it now so 6.39 will be my offer to Tony Parker okay Jimmer left us it says, I was say Boston College these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. But Jimmer Fournette left us. I'm going to offer him one year to come back at the veteran minimum. I think he's going to do it. And we're going to sell those tickets, baby. Our other signing that we're going to try to go for is going to be Seth Curry. Because we're hoping some of the little magic pixie dust rubs off of <laughs> Steph Curry onto Seth. And hope that, you know, he's got some championship pedigree because yeah. he grew up in the same house as Seth Curry or as Steph Curry two years five million and he's got a really good three-point shot he's got a good three-point shot he's got a good mid-range something that you guys really desperately need you need some playmaking you need some guys that are going to be able to shoot the basketball yeah. as a, a lot backup of... I yeah. think that's fine yep let's go for it all right so since we used up all the offers for the tempo we're going to be looking at this screen here. I offered a contract to Trey Burke to be our third string point guard. Another player that we got an offer here to, small forward slash power forward, Delano Gallinari. He's a pretty good player. I like what he's going to be able to do for us if we are able to get this contract done. We are currently the team that's offering him the most money. He's 100% interested in that offer. 77 overall would be a nice backup to RJ Barrett. And Leftos seems to make sense for us. And I think that that's a, that's a good move if he ends up signing with us. 
Last move of the day for the tempo is going after Dwight Powell. He's only got one offer up on the board, but I, I like what he's going to be able to do for us again on, on the bench as a power forward slash center. We do need I, we do need another center, I feel like, and we, we need a guy that's going to bring something that Vucevic is able to bring us on a nightly basis, which is some good offense. So just taking a look at the guys that are available here, I like Iman Shumpert to kind of fit in with kind of a defensive type of shooting guard slash small forward. I think it would fit for us. He's a system fit too, but he plays really good defense. B minus perimeter, but inside defense is a C minus, so not, not too good there, but mid range, B plus, C plus with three pointers. I don't think he's gonna be taking a whole lot of threes anyway with the amount of minutes that we're gonna be able to give him, but I think that this is a good fit for us. 76 overall player. Let's go ahead and get her done. I think I can work with this. If we get Redick a one-year contract, see where it gets us. Maybe it gets us good enough to get in the playoffs, like the more shooters we add. And then maybe next year will be the year of the big splash. Okay. I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Like, the only reason I didn't want to sign Rozier is because I just drafted this Nico dude. Right, you know, I want to see what he can do first. Give him some playing time. Yeah. I think we're still a year away. So I'm going to wait for the next year's free agency class and then try to go from there. Let JJ teach him how to shoot. All right, guys, so we need to fill our G League out. we got to go after Blockhead. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. He's a 59, but look at the badges. He's got 19. He's got a lot to work with. 19 badges. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he's cheap too, right? He's C minus inside. You know, the physicality is going to be uh, okay. D-plus potential. I mean... Let's see what Blockhead can do. Does he have any honor? No. No. No, he's good. No. Okay. All right, so Blockhead, <laughs> come on, buddy. One year minimum. You know you got to sign it. You know you got to sign it. All right, so let's check this out. Our final tally here should be Tony Parker, Jimmer Fredette, Seth Curry, Wayne Selden, and J.J. Redick. So we are upping the ante offensively and we're gonna see and pray that it helps our shooting next year and we look at the tempo a lot, of, -sign Trey Burke. a lot of two year offers looking for the long term we got Trey Burke coming back to be that third string point guard we'd like to utilize him in the in the perimeter game Dwight Powell to give Vucevic a little bit of a break rest those knees rest that big body Gallinari here at a 77 sharp shooter going to do the same thing except he's going to help out both Jaron Jackson and Leftos. Should be an upgrade over Corver. Yes. At yep. this point in his career. And then Shumpert going to be that kind of that defensive guy that we that we need. And then we sign Blockhead and awesome. we're going we're not going to have him on the team. I think we're going to put him down in the G League to develop. I like it. I'm feeling a little frisky here with Brandon Knight. A lot of people give him a lot of hate. There's a lot of memes that go around about him always being a screw up. But I, I kind of like the idea of bringing him in and really adding to that depth. He's going to be a little bit better of a scorer than Sundarius Thornwell. I, I like his athleticism. I think I want to sign him here. All right, so we have some improvements, boys. Check it out. Inside defense for Jaron Jackson goes up to an A+. Plus. I like that. RJ Barrett now up to an 85. So we got two 85s, Jackson and Barrett. Vucevic actually went up one. Jaws up to an 81. Leftos, nice, man. This team is looking legit. Dwight Powell, 77. Gallinari, 77. This team is deep. It's deep. Jang, Thornwell, Shumpert, Mills went down, though. Might be some trade bait there a little bit as we move forward. And then Blockhead, no. Yeah. All right, let's check out the Jacks here. We got Clint Capella at 86 now. Mo Obama, 83. And then Jonte Porter. Wow. Did a really good job in the G League, apparently. His morale is hashtag triggered. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we'll get you in the NBA, man. Don't fret. Now you're an 80. You'll get your playing minutes. Don't you worry, man. Bogdanovich... All right, 79. Kim up to 77. We got Aminu. We signed Reddick, Curry. We got Korkma, Selden, Felicio, Parker. Zyre Smith up three points. Okay, so we did get Zyre Smith back. And then we got Patterson, Nico Mannion. Ah, Jimmer. He went down by nine points. Jimmer. Man. That hurts. That hurts. Jimmer. You're going to have to ask yourself what you're going to do with Jimmer. He's a 66. Well, he is now going to be our third string point guard. That's what's going to happen to Jimmer. 
So just an update, we will keep you guys posted on what the Olympians and the Vortex are doing, but we will not be making managerial decisions for these teams. It's gonna all be based on what the CPU does with them. Kind of sucks, but we can only manage so many teams. And we see that Darius Baisley gonna go up by six, so it's a really good pickup. Yeah, this is a different looking kind of team. I mean, uh... a lot of unknown players. A lot of unknown players. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Quentin Grimes, Scotty Hobson, age 30. They went young in this. Yeah. They went really young, yeah. other than Birch. Looking at the Vortex here, they kind of went with some known players, like Bates Diop. Yep, Ohio State. Uh, Wartz yeah. Wagner. Wagner's going to get some playing minutes on this team. Grayson Allen. Okay, okay. Jeff Carter, Carter, Brunson, a lot of point guards. Nigel Hayes. Nigel Hayes. This team will these will be interesting. I think I think we're gonna be at the end of the day doing a much better job than the Olympians of the world. <laughs> <laughs> By the looks of it. Um, uh, yeah. They're gonna are these teams gonna be the reverse Golden State Warriors? Or are they gonna go seven and seven and five? Yeah. Could happen. I, I would put my money on the Olympians being worse? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It should be pretty close. It'll be pretty tight. Yeah. It looks like the Vortex need to be a little bit more active um, in their free agent acquisitions. Sign somebody. Yeah. What are you doing? You got cap room. We know you have cap room. I'm going to use the perimeter shooting training on Zaire Smith. I feel like he should be better at three-point shooting. I just feel like he really should. And I want to get him going. I spent a pick on him in our first season, and I am trying to keep the faith. Okay, so. Haven't really paid dividends. Zaire Smith, you are going to summer camp. Pack, get your backpack ready. So Leftos is gonna have to go to perimeter defense, because if you guys look, his perimeter D is a C. He's actually the worst rated starter outside of Vucevic, who's granted, only gonna be playing inside. We need him to be better on the perimeter defense. So we're gonna send him to perimeter D school and hopefully that helps him out a little bit and it does. Plus two in each one. Reaction time goes up to a 94, pick and roll. Defense is, is good. Pass perception, I like that. Good. Perimeter shooting, we're gonna go ahead and send Ja Morant to get in some more perimeter shooting. We need him to be a little bit better in the three point range. Kind of tie up with RJ Barrett a little bit. Very, very young. Let's go ahead and do that for Ja. And he did get better. Contested open mid, 78, 80. Those are pretty good numbers. I like the high 70s and low 80s right there for Ja. 